The patient is placed in a supine position with slight left-sided elevation. The Hassan trocar is placed, and you can see the landmarks for both the costal margin and the spleen. The hand port base retractor is placed through the abdominal incision, which measures approximately seven centimeters in size. One has to be certain that one has not trapped small bowel or omentum under the base of the retractor. It is then inflated and lubricated to allow for placement of the hand in the abdomen. The hand is placed in the abdomen and the sleeve attached to the base retractor. Trocars are then placed in the abdominal cavity. The large spleen is elevated and its posterior attachments are mobilized. Mobilization of the spleen is facilitated by elevation with the assisting hand. The lower pole vessels are either electrocoagulated or clipped and divided. One can see the main hilar vessels coming into view. At this point, attention is directed toward the short gastric vessels. Mobilization of the greater curve of the stomach is carried out, and then the short gastric vessels are individually taken. At this point, all that is left to divide is the hilum of the spleen.
The main vascular pedicle is divided with the linear cutter. The spleen has now been completely detached and will be placed in a bag for extraction. The splenic capsule is ruptured and the spleen removed in chunks.